Motivation. Motivation is something that we all want, but a lot of us know that it's not something that we can control. It's not something that we can just magically make happen. I am going to be motivated now. A lot of us know that to be motivated is actually really quite difficult. We all know that discipline is very important. It's more important because discipline is actually a skill you can build and it's very helpful for when you aren't motivated. You still discipline yourself to do the things that you know you should do, but you don't want to do. But to be motivated for those things, to want to do those healthy things anyway, that's good. That's still an amazing feeling to have. And there is one thing that I have noticed that has helped me become more motivated, even if it's just slightly, just a slight bit more motivated. And that is when I'm trying to motivate someone else. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. When I have to motivate somebody else, it is proven to make me feel motivated as well. It's why gym buddies are such an amazing, helpful thing in actually going to the gym because you're motivating your friend who's going to the gym and in, and in turn it motivates you and then he tries to motivate you as well. So it works, it really does help out. But then how can you motivate someone else? How can you motivate someone else and in doing so yourself? Motivation is a very complex process. It is very complicated for us to understand. It's very complicated, especially when teaching someone else. It's a very complicated process. It's a very complicated thing. A lot of us don't really understand it. Some motivational strategies that have proven to show success is, for example, teachers, when they make their class entertain, interesting, something that pokes your curiosity. Teachers that make their classes like this have proven to get more success out of their students studying, reading, and doing better and being more invested in that class. In other words, don't be boring. It's the same with parents. Parents have been proven to be way, way more successful with their kids when they attempt to actually try understand their feelings and the reason why they may not want to do something, why they're unmotivated about something, and they actually try and teach them the benefits from doing this. Same principle that you can use. When I was talking and getting my friend into the gym, at first he was like, oh, it's quite a lot of money. And then I tried to explain to him, I was like, I understand. Yes, in your position, it is a lot of money if you think about it. But if you also think about the benefits, it ends up becoming a great habit, something that you can do, gives you structure in your day. And not only that, you gain a huge amount of physical and mental benefits from this as well. You end up getting that dream physique you always wanted. The most successful interventions aren't done from people trying to change someone's motivation. It's focusing on the environment to assist that person's motivation. Another thing to understand is that there are three basic psychological needs when it comes to wanting to be more motivated or motivate someone else. The first one is autonomy. This is known as self-determination. When we are motivated, when we have a say and a choice in the matter. Have you ever been in those moments where you're sat there, you're about to do the dishes, and you're like, you know what, I'm motivated to do the dishes. Mum cooked, I'm really motivated. You start doing the dishes, and then your mum comes down like, oh, can you do the dishes? And you're like, bitch, I was about to do it. The fuck? <laughs> and then you are suddenly unmotivated, and you don't want to do it. Yeah, that's what this is. The next one is capability and effectiveness. When we are striving towards something that is bigger than us, a challenge that is harder, we end up getting more motivated for it. Say for example, it's a big group project. You end up getting really quite into it. The next one is affiliation needs. We are motivated to form long-term and loving relationships with people. Friendships, relationships, colleagues. Our mind will intrinsically become more motivated when we are getting a great deal of satisfaction from the environment that we are in. It's why if you're in a library, you're way more likely to read. So when it comes to being more motivated or motivating something else, there are some things that you need. Clear goals. When you have a clear goal in mind, it makes it a lot easier to be motivated to work towards it because you have a vision of where that end is gonna be. And especially when the progress you're making gets immediate feedback, especially positive praise. Emotions are a great deal in human lives, right? We are emotional creatures. So when we get good emotional feedback, we are way more motivated to do good. Say for example, at my old coffee place, 
if my boss said that, oh my god, your coffees are really good, they taste really nice, I was, um, that was great emotional feedback, made me feel good, and it also made me motivated to live up to her expectations. However, the challenge that you're trying to do, that you're trying to get motivated for, has to meet your challenge skill, your personal skill that you can do. If the challenge you're trying to do is super, super easy, you're not going to be motivated for it. It's too easy. However, if it's ridiculously hard, you're not even going to be bothered trying because you know it's not going to work, it's going to fail. The challenge that you're trying to get motivated for has to be in a reasonable skill level. And that's it. This was a very, very information depth packed video. So if you don't understand anything or things are complicated, feel free to pause the video, save this video and write down notes because I did do a lot of research on this. So there is a lot of information that's been squeezed into this video. I will probably do another video in more in depth, a lot longer. So you have a lot more time to understand things. And I hope things have been good. I hope things have been all right. I hope this video actually did help you out. And if it did, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the one in the corner. It's going to pop up around my face because this could help you out as well. And if you're not subscribed to me, there's a high chance that you will never, ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh, yeah. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.